Welcome to my channel and this is Tane. I'm about today to explain my story about my BBL and Lepro 360. To everybody that subscribed to my channel, thanks to my YouTube family support. But if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and please hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video okay this video is a very very long video but i'm gonna try so hard to cut it down my sister sent me a thing of me and she was like oh these people can go review go and read and stuff about them so i went reading and thinking about them and then i seen like reviews about dr ducks so I was like, you know what, I'm going to call it Mia. So I called Mia, I was like, oh, I'm looking and doing my surgery. And the, and she was like, show that the dogs have, have opening on March 20. I was like, show sure, March 20 is my day then. I like the day and I paid my money. I paid my 4000 And I bought my plane ticket to leave Miami, leave Rhode Island on the 19th because they said arrive one day before surgery and stay five days after surgery so i put in my vacation everything and i was about to leave so i left i left Rhode Island on the 19 and i arrived to miami i went for my my pre-op appointment at three o'clock miami time so when i got to to mia I, I was given a BBL pedal, a backboard. Let me show it to you guys. Hold on. I was given. I was given three phones. Three phones. One of this, the board. one of that and this right here i'm still sitting on it see it says mia aesthetic on it so i was given that i was given that and then she took me in the back to do my my body signs and stuff like that and she measured me for my faha measured me for my faha did my vet, my vitals, but my blood pressure was high. So she was like, oh, your blood pressure is high. I was like, well, first time. She was like, you know what? You have to come back tomorrow and we have to do it again tomorrow. Have you ever had high blood pressure before? I said, no, I haven't had high blood pressure before. She was like, okay, then maybe it's because you just got off the plane. So come back tomorrow. I was like, okay. So the next day, she was like, oh, scheduling will call you wait for your surgery time. I was like, fine. So the next day, I went, when I went home, they gave me the soap. So I took a shower. So when I got home, scheduling called me, and it was like, oh, 11.30 is the surgery. I said, okay. So I took a shower, don't eat nothing. Make sure you hear 11.30 is your surgery. But the person I spoke to did not tell me where the surgery was they only told me 11 30 is your surgery so i thought it was i thought they only had one surgery center so in the morning the next day 11 30 i arrived at the surgery center where i did my pre -op. when i got there i was there like 11 o'clock so i told the girl i was like oh i'm here for surgery she's like fine have a seat she took my name and she was like have a seat so i went and sat down I sat down for like an hour, so like 12 o'clock, she's like, Tani, I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, your surgery is not at this center, it's at the other center. I'm like, what? Nobody told me that I wasn't coming to this center and this is the only surgery center I know. So she was like, I'll call them, I'll give you, 
to give you the address and you guys can go there so i'm over there panicking oh i'm gonna miss my surgery um, my boyfriend and i he's driving here and there like trying so hard the place is like half an hour like to 45 minutes away from where we was so he's driving to get there thinking we're gonna be late and stuff like that so when we arrive at the other surgery center they haven't even started yet the girl that had surgery at nine o'clock she was still there waiting so they haven't even caught anybody in yet but anyways there was different doctors it wasn't you only doctor doctor dogs there was other doctors there so i think i was the the fourth third person for him we was four the other girl so we sat there by five o'clock they called me in for for my surgery with him so um so when i got in at five o'clock in the room he didn't even come to say hi or oh, how you doing the girl came i think the the coordinator or the nurse for him she came she was like oh i'm gonna do i want you to put this gown on put this compression socks on da, 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 da. so i did put my socks on put the gown on and then she was like oh i need you to Low pressure so i sat down it was the same girl from at the pre-op appointment so so she was like i need you to take i need to take your blood pressure i said cool so i gave her my hand she took my blood pressure and i think if i can remember my blood pressure was was 185 185 165 over 95 that was my blood pressure so she's like oh your blood pressure is too high so I was like, okay. So she's like, I'm gonna talk to the doctor and I will get back to you. I was like, fine. So she went outside, she came back inside. Oh, I have bad news for you, honey. So I said, what is it? She said, oh, I talked to Dr. Dogs and he said, he cannot do the surgery. You may be having a heart attack and he don't know. So he cannot do the surgery. You, you have to go back home and get treated and then call us and reschedule your surgery so i'm like okay i was downhearted i sat there all day did not eat nothing first of all left for adding for one week half my rental car everything they did not tell me oh come back tomorrow or oh, go oh, and check yourself and come back you know but no we cannot do your surgery you have to go home and get treated and thank but scheduling will call you today to reschedule you. So I was like, okay. So I went home. Nobody called me. Next day, went to went to the surgery center, asked for scheduling. They called some girl. She came. I was like, oh, I was supposed to have surgery yesterday, and I explained the story to her. My blood pressure was high, and you guys the doctor refused to do my surgery so how am i gonna get my money back oh you have to she said oh you have to go home and get treated and then come back to do your surgery i was like i don't live in miami one i live all the way in Rhode Island two this is my vacation time three i'm not gonna leave i'm not gonna have no other vacation time this this year four i need my money i don't want to do the surgery no more so for them to give my money back, they was like, oh, we cannot give the money back. You have to go and get a letter from your doctor telling us that you did not have high blood pressure before coming here to do the surgery. I was like, do I look like someone who have high blood pressure? And plus all the paper you guys sent me, I read it. If I have high blood pressure, I know it's not good for my health. I will not come and say it to say I'm about to do surgery. She was like, oh, you have to get a letter from your doctor stating that, oh, you do not have, you never had high blood pressure in the past. And then we'll see if we can take, if I'll see if the financial office can take the letter in before we can give you money. I was like, honey, don't play with me like that. <laughs> my $4,000, that's my coins. You know, I need my money. It's not even fun. And plus, I even read in the stuff that if you get cancer 
for surgery and it's not it's not, if you get cancer because of of even jobs for surgery they only take thousand five hundred dollars from your money and give you the rest of your money because you got cancer because of jobs but i got cancer because of you guys claim medical reason why can't i get my money back so i was in miami the next day i called my doctor she sent off the letter i took the letter to them she's like oh they cannot take the letter my doctor has to stay in the letter that oh uh uh uh, uh. oh my high blood pressure cannot be treated because i never had high blood pressure before they can give my money back no she said they would think about it if they can give my money back or not so i was like what so i i called the lady that i paid the money to the financial lady and she was like okay i'm gonna talk to my supervisor and stuff like that so the next day the next day i was in miami so my boyfriend was like tanya was like yeah he's like oh you remember you call those people at the jolie people you want to call them again see if you can do your surgery i was like but i don't have we don't have the money i just spent the money for my surgery he was like call jody and see so i called jody plastic surgery and and she was like i did this give me a they sent me to a lady to a girl called jo, julie jo, jo, julie yeah her name was julie so i spoke to judy judy was like oh send if you can send in all your paperwork then we will go from there i sent in i sent in my paperwork i sent in my um you guys know pictures of my front and my back i sent it to julie and judy said okay i will talk to the doctor and see she said when well, you want to have the surgery i said tomorrow she was like okay i'm gonna show this to the doctors and then i will let you know so she came back she called me back in half an hour she's like where are you can you come to the office for pre-op i was like sure for post-up i was like sure sorry guys not pre-op but post-up so she sent me their address and i drove to the office for the post-up appointment and there was like oh um you are set, but it's gonna be four thousand. So me, I already have my four thousand. They don't want to give it to me. They playing games with me. I was like, fine. So I, so we went into our account again, and we paid four thousand. Now it's eight thousand dollars out of my my saving. I didn't expect to pay all the debt. So we paid the four thousand dollars. She was she was like, oh, all your paper look good. All your lab result look good okay i'm gonna take you in the back to go and see the nurse when she took me to go and see the nurse the nurse had left for the day so i had to see the one of the doctors the one that do the head thing when you get in board she do head so i they took me there to go and see her so i went to see her and she was nice to me i think because of everything that I was going through she did my blood pressure is high again so she was like, you know what? Drink some water. Maybe it's because she said, where are you from? I said, Raada. And she said, oh, it's cold over there. So maybe it's from the cold and stuff like that. So drink some water when you go home. Drink a lot of water. Maybe it's Miami. Miami is too hot for you. So drink a lot of water and calm down. And tomorrow, we have to do the blood pressure again before surgery. So I, when I left, I was I told my boyfriend I was like I had to I have to go to the emergency room, like ASAP. He's like why? I was like I have to go and do an EKG so I can have paper with me to prove to these people tomorrow when I come here just in case my blood pressure is high. So he was like okay. So I went I went and did I went to the emergency room. They did my blood pressure. They was like, why are you here? I was like, oh, my blood pressure is high. They, was, they did my blood pressure. It was normal. So he was like, you know why we're going to ask why? He was like, why are you here? I said, I want an EKG. He was like, but your blood pressure is normal. But anyways, once you want an EKG, we're going to give you an EKG. So he did the EKG. He gave me the, the paper. And then my boyfriend got a lot of water we was in store like crazy people buying um 
buying blood pressure pills we the we was buying garlic i was just drinking a lot of shit because i never wanted to go through what i went through with mia so when i got to jewelry when i got home scheduling called me and it was like oh your surgery is 8 30 in the morning i was like thank you so 8 30 in the morning i got to jewelry as soon as i got there like I'm going to be honest with you. As soon as I walked through the door, oh, I have surgery. They call me in. I was already in. I didn't have to go and sit like me at where sit for hours and get caught at 5 o'clock in the night. I think that's the reason why my surgery was canceled for me because he was already tired. So that's how I feel. So I went... I went to the door. Oh, I'm here for surgery. They wasn't even open yet, but they called me. The nurse came outside. She called me in. I went in. My boyfriend was like, you ready to go? I was like, yeah. And then they took me in the back, and then he left. They, they did my blood pressure, but my blood pressure was high when he did the blood, when she did the blood pressure for the first time. She was like, you need to calm down. We get this a lot. People get nervous. And you need to calm down. So I explained the story to her. And I gave her the thing of my EKG. She was like okay. I will come back and take it again. So I was. Laying back. Listening to relaxing music and stuff. She came back. She took the blood pressure. It dropped a little bit. But it was still high. It wasn't normal. But it dropped. So she went and told my doctor. And then Dr. Creekan was the one that did my my surgery. Dr. Creekan, he's an older guy. I'm gonna post his picture. He did a really good job. He smashed me in. So I love my doctor. So he came in, he was like, What's going on? So I started smiling. He was like, So tell me what do you want? Why you want your body to look like? So I was like, I don't know. I don't have nothing in mind. I'm just going to leave it with you. I believe in you. I trust you with my body. Do what you can do. So he was like, okay. So he said, stand up for me. I stood up. He marked me up. And then he said, what's up with the blood pressure? So I explained to him. And I showed him the EKG paper. And then he started laughing. He laughed so hard. So I was like, why are you laughing at me? It's like, because you don't look you look relaxed it's like you look relaxed you look calm so i don't know what's going on with the blood pressure so he said talk to me so he put the cuff on my hand the blood pressure cuff on my hand and then he started asking me how many kids do you have and i was talking to him i said i have three kids i have a daughter so we having a conversation and he did my blood pressure and boom it was normal I had a normal flat ass blood pressure, like no high. It was like, so he was like, get ready. You're going for surgery because your blood pressure is normal. I was like, how did you do that? He said, oh, some people just, when they put their mind on the blood pressure thing, they get nervous and stuff. That's what happened. So I was excited. I said, I see you. I said, bye. So he left and then. The next doctor that came in was Dr. Chris. He's the anesthesia doctor. So Dr. Chris came in. He said, hi, I'm Chris. English, he speak good English. The doctors over there at Jolie, they speak good, good English. So he was like, hi, I'm Chris. I'm Dr. Chris. I'm going to be your anesthesia doctor. I'm going to walk you to the room now. So he and the nurse, they walked me to the room. I lie on the table. He put in my IV. The only thing I remember him saying was, I'm about to to give, to put in the injection now. And I said, okay, that's all I can remember. Uh, that's all I can remember. I, didn't, I think it was 10, 10 o'clock. I went in and then that was all I can remember. I woke up at five o'clock laying on my stomach. I was already in my faha. They already called my boyfriend. He was in the back. So when I woke up, I woke up to Rosie. Rosie was the one 
there with me shout out to you rosie thank you so much may god bless you i want to that day my massage i have her her picture so just in case if you go to julie plastic surgery to do your surgery please 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 let them let rosie take care of you rosie is a very very good lady she really did a really great job with me so when i woke up i was just so actually i wasn't feeding anything from the beginning so rosie was like Rosie was like, oh, your prescription. He gave me my prescription. And then she walked me outside. I did not say any chair. Like at Nia or other places, people video I watch. They put them in wheelchair to take them outside. But I did not say in a wheelchair. I stood up and stood up like a lady, you know. And I walked outside, you know. So my boyfriend was already there waiting for me. Got in the car, went to the hotel. But I had already got my my medication from Mia before then. So I already had that medication. So the medication that I got from Julie, I did not take it to the pharmacy. I did not use it. I got acetyl And hold on. Yeah, this is the acetyl And then something something else they gave me and then i take it i did not take it so zenex something something they gave but i didn't take it so when i got home i was so sleepy the only thing i was cool a little bit but when i got home to the hotel my boyfriend turned the heat up and i was knocked up i went to bed and he went and grabbed me some soup if you watch my my other video i'm gonna put the link down below he brought the soup i drank the soup the only thing was i was just so 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 cold that's the only thing i felt i felt so cold other than feeling cold and my body felt like i went to the gym and i work out so too much that's it but other than that i was good i was good and today marks me four weeks since i had my surgery four weeks today friday four fridays since i had my surgery i am so so excited i am excited you don't even know you i'm happy with my body i love my results love love my results i'm gonna show you guys my results soon i'm gonna stand up and show you guys my body and then i'll post my before and after picture so you guys can see it shout out to dr Cregan from julie plastic surgery thank you so much julie plastic surgery you guys made my dream come true so through all of that after i had my surgery at julie i had i haven't gotten my money yet from nia so first day i went to my appointment i haven't gotten my money yet for me yet. i'm on the phone calling it was the weekend it was like oh we're not open because i got my surgery on friday so the whole weekend i'm calling them no no answer so on monday i went in there they said oh the financial lady went home so come back on tuesday we will see if we can give you the money back or not Mind you, all these people that I'm talking to, they don't know nothing. The mean people in the finance department, it just took them like this to give my money back. But all these people that I'm meeting in the front and sending me here and there back and forth, they are all scheduled from the scheduling department. I'm not talk, they're not sending me to the rightful people I should be talking to. So on Wednesday, I went in there, I am so mad. I'm like, I want my money back. I just got surgery. Surgery that I was denied of that you guys said you couldn't give me because I was sick. I just got my surgery. I did not die. I want my money back. So the boy in the front was like, you know what? I'm going to get you the finest 
department so he went in there and he got me the lady she is so sweet she is down to earth she was like what's going on she didn't even know what i was going to for five freaking days coming over there to get my money from me and they just sending me all over the place to people that don't even know what they're doing girl i was pissed i had, had it up to yeah i was about to eh, go off so she was like oh i'm sorry calm down what's going on so i explained to her she was like okay hold on she went in the back she came back she was like we're gonna give your money but we're not gonna give the down payment the 300 dollars i was like it's fine i just want my money i just want to get out of here she's like oh i'm so sorry i first time hearing it i didn't even know you was going through this for five days now i was like yeah she said okay i'm gonna process the money right now in front of you call your bank please see if they see anything on it and you're gonna get the money a couple of business days because it's a lot of money so it would take maybe seven to five business days i said okay thank you she was sweet god bless your soul for helping me out and giving me my money back so that's how i left and i was done with them and I just want to say thanks to the almighty God because through everything that I went through with man, it was God that carried me through surgery. It was him. It's like surgery is like you being knocked out. Don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going to be your next move. But the only person that's there to take care of you is God and that doctor. So I would first like to say thanks to God for my safe surgery. And secondly, I would like to say thanks to my doctor for this great job he did on my body. Okay, okay, let me show you guys my body. Hold on. Over here I have makeup stains in my boobs. Okay guys, so this is me. I'm wearing my faha. This is stage two faha on here. My leg. This this cheek is here now. You see. This one is little so. I think I I got a lot of fat on this side because of my um because of my hips see my hips my hips okay let me show you guys this is my skin right now so i'm still so yeah still doing my mustache and stuff thanks to my boyfriend though he be snatching me out and my sister-in-law jennifer i just have amazing people that be working with me so this is my body usually do is um, I usually wear a waist trainer now and then I wear my phone to go to bed in my next video I'll show you guys how I wear my phones I don't wear bra because of my where they took the fat from on here I have a, a t-shirt I took stitches there so I don't wear bra because the bra hurt but this is my body I love it hold on let me put my dress back down this is me 
Love my returns. Love it, love it, love it. So, guys, Jody plastic surgery is the next thing. Thank you, Dr. Cregan. Guys, I hope I help you guys and I hope you guys enjoy my video. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and I love you guys. Bye.